Hey up me ducks, oh my goodness, <laughs> I've just been recording, well no I haven't, that's the problem, I've been talking to you for about 15 minutes, um, unwrapping this deck, only to discover that I wasn't recording at all, which I could cry, but that's fine, it's absolutely fine. Um, so if you was in my quarren stream earlier, today's Monday, 1st of March, then um, you'll have seen me mention these decks. So the creator of the Shuffle Tarot, Collection A and B, um, Mate Horan, uh, let me try and remember how to say his, uh, his last name, Horan Number, um, mate horror horror number um released these last year and i just love them whether you you know like the the system or not with the the shuffling around of the the majors and minors the card stock is incredible i love this card for pamela coleman smith as well they're just beautiful quality so he reached out to me um a few weeks ago and offered these new decks that he is um, published or has published I should say and asked if I wanted to uh, receive them for review and I was I was thrilled um, and he's actually released four so there's this one which I'm going to do the walkthrough of which is the Smith Tiny and then he's also got the Lionscapes Tarot, the Emojini Tarot and the Brush Tarot so through this week, I will um, be doing walkthroughs of each of those decks. Um, but this one in particular, I was really excited to get. And the reason why um, I was excited to get it is because one of the most popular questions I get, I think the most popular question is, you know, I'm just starting out on tarot or want to start with tarot, what deck would you recommend? And I always say an RWS, you know, just get yourself a Centennial or an RWS. And, you know, there's lots of books out there that go with that deck and you can, you know, easily learn. Uh, but another popular question I always get asked is, you know, my son or my daughter who is eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, is showing an interest in tarot and I want to get them a deck uh, what would you recommend and I've always wanted there to be a um, RWS clone and when I say that I mean uh, something that very closely follows Pix's artwork so that when the transition comes to move to the RWS it's and they've learnt with something like this then it's not such a leap um, <clears throat> but I've never really found anything that's, um, you know, I felt that I could recommend. I would say something like the Happy Tarot or, you know, various things like Crystal Unicorns or depending on what they're into. So the Smith Tiny is a tarot deck that is based on Arthur Edward Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith's artwork. But it's, it's kind of uh, in a cartoon style um, art. And you're not going to see my initial reaction now because <laughs> when I took the cellophane off and opened um, this box, I was, I gasped because the deck is gilded in this beautiful, beautiful red. Um, and I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, let me make sure I'm putting everything back the way that I, I found it. And not only is it in this beautiful red, but it's also um, like a red holographic. I mean, look at that. You've got the whole spectrum of colours there. I've never seen anything like this. It is absolutely beautiful. It's sparkly. It just looks red on first appearance, but then you've got this, you know, this holographic kind of um, feel to it as well. These are the backs, which are, are really lovely. It is this beautiful matte cardstock so this deck is real quality and it says here 
the Smith Tiny Tarot Collection, first edition, 2021. Um, and this is number 11 of 1000. It is signed. And then you have the names, which I'm not going to print out. So I'll let you have a good close up. Um, I know Matt Horan number, but the artwork and the artist's names here. And their company is uh, Dex Tiny. So, yeah. So what we get, so we get some extra bonus cards. We get Pamela Coleman Smith and Arthur Edward Waite here, which are just lovely. And mate um, does like to do tributes, as you saw in the Shuffle Tarot, um, to, to Pixie at least. And now we've got Arthur Edward Waite. And then we've also got here, William Ryder and Son. So the, the actual printer is a publisher. So how how cool is that? And it's Bartholomew Close, London. So yeah, I love that. So Arthur Edward Waite, Pamela Coleman Smith and Ryder and Son. So we have the Ryder Waite Smith. So cool. <laughs> little things like that I love and there's an additional cards with this they were sealed together and this is the classic tales collection so we'll have a look at um, them obviously it's not a 78 card deck so it's probably majors only but um, yeah let's have a look just look at the the artwork it is amazing here's our fool magician High Priestess the cardstock is it's not the thickest of cardstocks, but it's certainly not thin. It has a nice flexibility to it, but it is that lovely, smooth, matte cardstock. I love the yellow backs. Our Empress, Emperor. I mean, as I said, these are great for um, younger tarot readers, but they're great for the, the child in all of us, aren't they? I'll read with these, definitely read with these. The lovers, they're so colorful and the line work is crisp and clean. Chariot. Look at that hermit. Wheel of Fortune. I quite like the uh, the title as well. It reminds me of something like Flintstones. You know, the old kind of wooden carved, engraved signs. Temperance. You don't need me to tell you what. <laughs> What cards what? Look at that devil card. The signs there, and uh, if you're anything like me, you know the RWS anyway. Look at the expressions. It's so colorful and vibrant too. Now nobody can call that an ugly, ugly naked baby, can they? Let's be honest. Judgment and the world. Just move this chair around a second to get myself comfortable. And then we have the happy squirrel. So it does say on the box, um, you get 22 majors, 56 minors, 16 court and one squirrel. This is the box, by the way, which is lovely. So yeah, there's a happy squirrel card, isn't it? Look at the rainbow and the sunflower, but we've got the sun and the rain. You can see the raindrops making the, the rainbow appear. It's beautiful. 
So how many cards is that? So we've got the 78, 79 for the squirrel, and then we've got the extra three. We've got 82 cards in this deck. Isn't that the play date card for this week? I think it was. Oh, I love it. I knew as soon as a uh, mate contacted me and said, I've got some new decks. Um, and I'd love to send them you. I didn't I didn't hesitate because I know the quality is there. And that's what I love. When you find, you know, a creator, you know, there is that expectation when you've had a, a quality product. It's like Ivy as well, who I, I back on Kickstarter. I know the quality of her products. And it's the same with mate here. We have our cups. So colourful. Doesn't look like John Travolta anymore. <laughs> Ten. That's a nice, vibrant card, isn't it? There's my Significator card. Page of Cups. The replication of Pixie's artwork in this deck is is really good. It's really clever. The aces almost look the same, you know, because you can't really cartoonify the... Cartoonify? Is that even a word? It is now. Gorgeous. It reminds me, there's a, there's like an, I suppose it's an app, but it's part of built into Facebook, but you can upload a picture of yourself and it turns you into a cartoon. It's like Pixie's deck has been put through that, uh, that filter. <laughs> I adore it. Everything about it. Our final suit is the pentacles, so we have our ace. Two. the town but look how clean that is even the lines in the building really clear and crisp page night oh she looks sad 
Coba aku ngapai And the king So there we have it, that's the main deck um, Oh look how gorgeous that is Absolutely beautiful And we'll add in the extra cards Stunning, really, really stunning. But we've also got, and it comes with with the set. There was in the same cellophane together. This is the classic tales collection. So I've not opened this yet because I was about fifteen cards into that deck when I realised that I wasn't recording. So there isn't any information. To tell you what uh, what this is inspired by, but from the looks of it, you know it's got the same gilding, the same backs. I suppose if you wanted, you could switch some cards, or just have this as a, a separate deck. I'm trying to find my way in. You know what I did there, don't you? Don't hate on me. <laughs> and it hasn't worked anyway, so I'm gonna to have to get the the scissors just to just to make a little nick. There we go. So it looks like we've got the yes, the majors so replacements for the majors or it is a you know standalone majors only deck um but it looks like it's a story time deck so i'm not quite sure perhaps these are characters from well-known stories maybe ah Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Maybe that's Pocahontas. Maybe these are like, um, well, you name them. <laughs> I'll get loads of comments underneath now, but I can see that that's Beast from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, Fairy Godmother. How fun to have these. That could be Dorothy. That looks like Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. Tiny little lion. Could be the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz. Gorgeous hermit. Love the purple cloak. Oh, that's from Beauty and the Beast, isn't it? The wilting rose. Like Peter Pan. Wow, look at that for death. The apple. Interesting. That's from Cinderella, isn't it? Is that Cinder's there? <laughs> from Frozen, Olaf. Not that I've ever seen Frozen, but you hear enough about it <laughs> to know who the characters are. Judgment. And then we have the world. What a fun addition. Wow, so in this set, <clears throat> you get 82 and another 22. You get over 100 cards. So a nice story time, uh, majors only, and then this fantastic tiny tarot. 
I love it. Absolutely love it. And the gilding is just a bonus because it is beautiful. All right. Thank you for watching. Do check out my shop. Information, as I say, will be below. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this deck. Um, I feel like I've missed key things off because I can't remember if I've said it in this one or the one where I wasn't recording, but hopefully I've um, covered everything. And then stay tuned for the three other decks that will come up at some point um, this week. I think I'll probably do the brush tarot next because this has got some um, amazing, amazing artwork. So it's a limited edition as well. This is 10 of 500. So... All right, thank you for watching, guys, and until next time, go in peace, namaste, and blessed be.